Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHDS-808VW 8 input, 8 output, HDMI matrix, and video wall controller. This single product is really two products in one. It's an HDMI matrix that allows you to redirect any of the eight inputs to any of the eight outputs by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit, using the infrared remote control, by connecting it to your local network and opening a web browser, or through a direct RS-232 connection on the back. But it's also a video wall controller that can display one of the inputs across all eight monitors at the same time. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media equipment. It even provides audio extraction capabilities for each of the eight channels with a digital and analog output that you can then pass along to a soundbar or home stereo for that full theater experience. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the 808VW. You'll also find a single 24 volt, 3.75 amp power supply with a cord you can use to plug into the wall. So you plug this into the wall, the other end plugs into the power supply. And in the end of the cable, there's a single barrel connection with a locking collar that plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. Also included with the kit is an RS-232 to USB connection cable. So you can control this from a local computer. You'll find mounting brackets as well where you can mount this into a media rack. There are connectors for all the analog audio outputs. There's an infrared extender kit where you can actually mount this inside of a cabinet and locate this outside the cabinet and plug it directly into the back of the unit so you can use the remote control. If this is outside the cabinet, you can use the remote control directly. You'll also find a full function infrared remote control, which makes it really easy to make your selections from the distance away from the product. Finally, you'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and all the other important information you'll need to understand about the product in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The O-Ray UHDS-808VW features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On the top of the cabinet, as well as along the right hand side, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the top of the unit, you'll find two fans and two more along the left hand side that help with that heat dissipation by drawing cool air through the cabinet during operation. On either side, you'll also find mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit in case you choose to mount this into a video rack or other style of cabinet. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find four rubber feet that help to protect the surface you set it down on and keep it from sliding around during operation. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a digital display that shows you the current status of the product it's also where you'll make your configuration changes. To the right side of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test. Once it completes that test, the power LED will come on letting you know it's ready to use. Below that is an infrared receiver window, and that's where the signals from the remote control are picked up. So when you set this up on your media center, make sure that window is visible if you're using the remote control. If you mount this inside of a cabinet, you can use the included infrared extender kit, locate the receiver outside the cabinet, and plug it into a port in the back that I'll show you in a minute. To the right of that, you'll find eight buttons labeled output one through eight, and eight more labeled input one through eight. And these are where you can make configuration changes as to which input is sent to which output manually. And to do that, you'll first select the output you'd like to change, let's say four, and then select the input you'd like sent to that output, let's say seven. Once you tap those two buttons, input seven is sent to output four. Now, because this is a matrix, you can actually send the same input to multiple outputs at the same time. To the right of that, you'll find a collection of six buttons. Starting in the upper left is a menu button. When you tap that, you'll enter the configuration steps available for the unit. And once you've made your changes, hit the enter button to lock those in. As you step through the menus, you can use the up and down button to make your choices. 
On the upper right hand side is a power button and that's used to turn the unit on and off and to do that you'll simply tap it to turn it on, tap it again to turn it off. And below that is a lock button. The minute you tap that it disables all the buttons on the front of the unit to eliminate any unintended changes. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the bottom you'll find eight full-sized HDMI ports labeled input one through eight. These connect to whatever media devices you'd like to use with your eight monitors. To the right of that, you'll find eight more full-sized HDMI ports labeled output one through eight. These connect to your monitors that you'd like to display the content from your media devices on. Always use a high quality cable for connecting these devices to ensure the best quality picture. Above that, you'll find audio outputs one through eight. This unit provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio from the output stream being sent to your monitors and then allows you to pass that along individually for all eight channels through either an analog or a digital connection to a sound bar or home stereo for that full theater experience. And you can connect the analog connection here or an optical SP diff connection there. To the right of all those, you'll find an RS-232 connection and a LAN connection. This unit can be controlled over your network by connecting it to your local area network and then opening a web browser and pointing it at the IP address of the unit. You can also make a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer if you'd like to control it from that. Next to that, you'll find an IR extension port. That's a three and a half millimeter port. That's where that infrared extender kit plugs in. And then below that is a DC 24 volt port and that's used for power. You'll simply plug the power supply into the wall. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar. Simply plug it in there and finger tighten that collar so it doesn't pop out. And then finally, there's a grounding slug right there if you decide you want to ground the unit. And that's pretty much it for the product. The O-Ray UHDS-808VW is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including game consoles, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, computer systems, and digital projectors. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra high definition media content. It provides both a matrix and a video wall controller function. It is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It offers hardware and software control of the output and includes audio extraction capabilities. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And the O-Ray UHDS-808VW is a bit of a unique device because it's really two products in one. It's an 8x8 video matrix and a video wall generator. So in this first portion of the demonstration, I'll show you how you can use this product as a video matrix. And to do that, I've set up eight HDMI media devices over here, and this is the media content I'd like to share in my output devices. Over here, I've set up six high-resolution monitors, and two more over here as my output devices, and this is where I'd like to display the content from those media devices. In front of me, I have the UHDS-808VW. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are from the media devices directly to the unit, and I've already connected up eight high-definition cables to those devices. The other end of those HDMI cables plug into HDMI input one through eight. And it's really important you use high quality cables to make these connections because you want to ensure you get the best possible picture on your output devices. You also want to make sure you've snug these cables in tight because HDMI can be a little bit tricky if you don't get the connector all the way in. All right, so there are my eight input devices all plugged in. And now we're ready to connect up the monitors. I've connected six cables to these monitors over here which I'll plug into the HDMI output one through six. Now, if you're using this in video matrix mode, it doesn't really matter which monitor you plug into which output because you can easily move the inputs across the outputs as needed and adjust for whatever's needed. The challenge is if you're using it as a video wall generator, it's important you organize the monitors correctly and plug them into the right output ports so that you get the right organization of the monitors to display that larger image. But in this case, it doesn't matter much because I can move the inputs to different outputs as needed. I can even send the same input to all outputs at the same time, which is pretty amazing. All right, so I've plugged in the inputs and the outputs, and all we need now is power. I've already plugged in the power supply. 
The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, which plugs into the DC input port in the back. Now, the minute I add power to this unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test, the fans spin up, and it's gonna take a second or two for that self-test to finish. It's checking the electronics, it's checking the input and the output resolutions. You'll hear a beep when that's done, there you go. That means it's past the power on self-test, and there are your outputs. It's gonna make adjustments to give you the best possible picture, but there are six of my media devices, and here are two more. And I could easily switch any of these to a different input if I choose to do that, or I can send the same input to all eight outputs at the same time. And that's really nice if you're at a convention or you've got to display the same video on multiple monitors. All you have to do is select the output you'd like to change and then select the input, and it automatically switches that input to that output. If you'd like to display the same input on all eight monitors, select the All button and just pick an input. I'll pick input number two here and you'll see it changes. And there I have the same input on all eight outputs at the same time. And it really is just that easy to get it working as a video matrix. Now stay tuned and I'll show you how you can use it as a video wall generator. Now I'll show you how the video wall function works. And a video wall generator essentially takes a single input and spreads it across the grouping of monitors to give you an incredibly large video wall. For this demonstration, I've set up four monitors in a two by two configuration, and that's where I'd like to display one of the inputs, again, as a larger image. And you can change that configuration through the application to organize as many monitors as you'd like to use up to eight. You can go with two by two, you can add six monitors, eight monitors, whatever's best for your particular configuration. And once you've set that up, it's really important that you plug the monitors into the output ports that match up with the configuration you've set so that it organizes correctly when you try to display that larger image. I've also connected four HDMI media devices up to the unit, and right now I've got it in video matrix mode, where input one's going to output one, two to two, three to three, and four to four, just like I showed you in the previous section. I'm gonna go through the application and actually switch into video wall mode to show you how you can change it again from an application anywhere on your network. So right now, again, I've got all the inputs going to each of the outputs individually. All I have to do to go to video wall mode is to select it here, and you'll see it'll organize it into a large image. Right now, I've got input number one being shown on the screen, but again, through the application, I can easily change that to any input I want. Let me move to three, let me move to four actually, and you'll see the the demo there of the video playing. So video wall generation is an interesting feature that this product provides that allows you to switch between an eight by eight video matrix, which again, allows you to send any of the inputs to any of the outputs, or even the same input to all eight outputs at the same time, or video wall mode, where you can create a gigantic video wall through a collection of monitors displaying one of the inputs on that giant video wall. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHDS-808VW helpful. This product is really two products in one. It's an 8x8 video matrix, which allows you to easily connect eight ultra-high definition media sources to eight ultra-high definition monitors at the same time, while providing complete control over which of those media streams are being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time by simply tapping a few buttons on the front of the unit, using the included infrared remote control, or by connecting it to a local network and opening a web browser, or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. But it's also a video wall controller that allows you to select any one of the eight inputs and have that displayed across all eight monitors at the same time, creating a gigantic video wall. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all modern media equipment. It even provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio component for each of the eight output streams and then allow you to pass that along through an analog or an optical digital connection to a soundbar or other type of amplifier system for that full theater experience. Finally, it also includes an infrared extender kit that allows you to mount the unit in a closed cabinet, extend that outside the cabinet so you can still use the infrared remote control. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks a lot for watching.